Hi guys, in this video I am going to show my dream project that I have built using Python and Django as server side technologies and SQL Server as database and HTML, CSS and JavaScript as front end technologies. Okay, this website is basically a e-commerce type website where you can buy vegetables and things like that. It is pretty much similar to Swiggy where you can buy food and stuff like that. Okay, without having any further ado, let me start the server. This website basically maintains four type of user logins. It is number one is obviously customer login, and number two is uh, delivery boy login, and the shop owner login, and the staff login, staff log staff of the company login. Okay, let me start the server and let's jump to the web browser so so let me open the web project okay this is how it looks when you have not logged in to this site and so let me quickly log in with the pre-existing account that i already have customer account so let me show the customer view first and later we will move forward to show you the other logins as well so let me quickly type those credentials and uh, okay as soon as you log in you will get redirected to this page you can see the sponsored field and other vegetable shops as well is sponsored field is nothing but an nothing but like an advertisement we um, where the shop, vegetable shops uh, are promoting themselves and you can as a customer you can select you can select any vegetable shop you want and buy from that shop one thing you have to remember is that if you want to buy different vegetables from different shops for in in one order that is not possible that means if you want to buy onions from one shop and tomatoes from another shop it is not possible you have to buy all of those from one shop that means you can see here you can see let me open the shop you can see that i have previously given four stars to this shop if i want to change the rating also i can change you can see i have submitted and the new rating and it gets reflected here and here as well which is good and you can see the products of this vegetable shop and it is also they classified into categories if i want to buy uh, carrot one kilogram and uh, onions one kilogram you can see i the uh, card count is successfully updated and the one thing you cannot do is that i have, sh I have explained to you already is that here i have uh, add i have added uh, onions and carrot to the cart from deliver of shop and if i want to add another product from this shop it is not possible that means if i want to add potatoes from this shop this uh, this saying that you are trying to add vegetables from different shops which is not possible and it also saying that you can either start the fresh cart fresh cart with the current current product or you can stick with the previously selected shop as well so in this case i want to stick with my previously selected cart items so it will get redirected to the believer shop mm, so let me go to the cart cart view and this is how the cart view looks like so i want to buy two kilograms of carrot and uh, i can increase the count as well and two kilograms of onion you can see the actual amount is 106 rupees and uh, and also delivery amount of 10 rupees and as as you have noticed this this shop has a discount so discount amount is gets reduced by 23 rupees so the total amount that, that the customer has to pay is 92 rupees so let me go to the checkout page and this is how the checkout page looks like and you have a cool feature in this checkout page checkout form is that if you have previously received any orders uh, to any addresses that address be will that address that address will be saved saved into the database that means whenever you in future if you want to deliver new products you don't have to retype that address uh, <clears throat> newly that means that the ad previously address will be stored stored so you can select uh, you can select the previous addresses or else or, or else if you want to say, go to the 
uh, <clears throat> order to the new address also that will be possible you can see here so let me quickly type those uh, order details so you can see here i am stick with the previously ordered uh, ordered address so i would like to search this one and you can see the currently they are not accepting any online online payment options they can only they are only accepting cash on delivery so let me proceed to buy the products orders and you can see it gets switched and the order gets placed successfully and it also showing the delivery boy addresses as well delivery boy details and the amount uh, amount i has to pay and you can also have the print option where you can use this this one as the receipt of the of your purchase and this is how the customer view look like uh, as soon as this order gets placed it will redirect to this guys this delivery boys orders i will show that as well now in this video so i this this wraps up the customer view uh, for this particular site and also the previously ordered orders are also you can see here you can uh, see them in this section my orders and this will show the active orders and the completed orders active orders is nothing but the orders which are not at a delivered to you and the completed orders are that means those orders have, have been completed and uh, you can see the this order you can see this is the order that we just placed we have just placed and it is not yet delivered if it is if it is delivered then if it was delivered then it would have shown in this page in this section completed section okay let me sail towards the uh, staff view this is how let me uh, sail towards the staff view mm, we do have a staff view where he will he will manage the new new delivery boy job entries and new shop entries that means here you can see this is the business section when you have logged in you can see the business section where you can start your new shop in in this site or or you want or if you want to work as a delivery boy you can see here you have to click here so if i want to start my new shop you can see i have to come to this place and apply for online store as soon as i filled out this data you can see owner personal data owner address data shop data and shop addresses you have to fill all this data and submit as soon as you have submitted this data our backend staff our backend uh, team will will go through this data and uh, process this process this data and verify your application and will mail you and will mail you with the confirmation of your job as soon as they confirm they will send the mail you have to come to this place and wait you click on this verify shop application and enter these credentials and verify them and create your account this is the process of applying for a new shop for this in this site and will and this will be same uh, and this process will be same for the delivery boy job as well you have to see, you have to apply for the job first with the with the data of with your personal data and, uh, and the same thing will happen our staff member will process your data as soon as they have verified if it is rejected they will also inform you that it is rejected and you won't be able to create your account if it is accepted then you have to come to this place and you have to verify your data as soon as it gets verified and you will create your new delivery boy account and this is how the process goes on so let me log in as a staff member so let me type the staff member credentials i already have them so so these are the credentials and this is how the home page for the customer uh, staff view looks like staff member looks like in this shows there are total there are four online shop applications are, are have been triggered here that means and this guy have verified four three of them and and he has accepted all of, all of them and all three of them 
and he haven't rejected any application that means he still has one application to be verified for the online shop applications and, and also he has delivery boy job applications where he has three applications in which he has verified all of them and he accepted one two and rejected one you can see the data and he and when you apply for the online online shop the application will be come to this place this is how it looks like and the staff member will look like this data will look like this he will verify the data and if the if you are a valid and eligible customer you eligible one then he will accept your application as soon as he has accepted your, your application mail will be sent to you and the mail and you have to verify your account and create your account that is how the process goes on and the same with the delivery boy also uh, new delivery boy here there is no new delivery of your application delivery applications and we have verified applications which all of them all of the three are only i think two of them are accepted and one is rejected you can see this guy's application gets rejected you can see this application is rejected and this is how the staff member login will look like so let me sail towards the uh, shop owner and uh, shop owner view. Uh, so let me type the shop owner credentials. Uh, these are some dummy shop owners. So as soon as the shop owner logged in, this is how it looks. That means the shop owner, the shop the shop associated with the shop owner has 18 active orders and 4 delivered that means out of 22 he has 18 active orders and 4 delivered orders and the shop has 24 products and you can see his rating is discount limit and minimum amount for the discount eligibility and he has the active orders as well these are the orders that he has to deliver so he has to pack these items and give it to the delivery boy to with the which is associated which is associated with that order so you can see his previous orders that means the orders that he has already packed up and delivered and also he he can see his products as well and he can edit them he can even change its cost and in this picture and its name and its category if i want to increase its cost by 45 also i can do that you can see the price gets updated and also if he wants to add the new product to his shop you can you can also do that or if he wants to change the discount offers also you can change here it is 22 percent if he want to reduce it by 20 percent he can do that and just you can see that new discount gets decreased and this is how the shop owner view looks like so let me send towards the delivery by login as well so let me type the credentials of the delivery boy so so let me type those credentials and these are the credentials of the delivery boy. this is how it looks for the delivery boy you can see his active orders now he total so far he had eight orders in which he has he had delivered six orders and he is now having two orders to deliver and you can see here important thing is delivery boy status here he currently he, he is available for the delivery delivering of the food uh, vegetables that means if he selects not available for delivery that means he, he will be con not considered not considered for the new orders to be delivered that means our algorithm won't consider him for the new orders to be delivered for example if he says like that he is not available for delivery as soon as he is available for delivery then he will be given new, uh, he will be given orders to him. our algorithm will give orders to him according to the uh, according to the new orders that it gets okay and you can also see his uh, active orders he has to pick the pick up these orders you can see uh, this is the order that we got you can see he has to Go to the shop and pick up the order and he has to give it to the target place in which in this case this guy and then as soon as he delivered the product and he has to mark it as delivered then only it will be treated as a delivered one so as soon as he has clicked on that that means the order gets delivered completely so this is how it looks and you can see his profile and uh, this is gives a certification of it is just like an identity that we, he, that he is a verified or smart delivery boy 
and uh, this is how it looks i hope you guys love my work i really enjoyed by making this project and making this video as well i hope you guys love my work and if you like this video please like and if you dislike this video you can dislike this video i don't care and uh, and consider subscribing thanks for watching and consider subscribing stay hard